And now, a message from the committee to elect Clinton Gore. Hi, I'm Terry Etter, and I want to tell you something you may not know about Bill Clinton. As a young man, Bill Clinton met John Kennedy. He spoke with John Kennedy. He shook hands with John Kennedy. Now, granted, Bill Clinton is no John Kennedy, but he sure looks the most like him. And isn't that what our country really needs? Clinton, because he looks the most like John Kennedy. And now, a message from the committee to elect Bush Quayle. Hello, I'm Reed Bowman. Things are really starting to look up for George Bush and the Republican Party. He was great in the debates. He's picking up momentum. He's, well, he's, okay, listen, I'll admit it, he's in trouble. But there are lots of reasons to re-elect President Bush. Number one, he's already there in the White House, nice and comfy, won't waste time moving in. Number two, the economy. Sure, it's hobbling around like it has a broken leg, but do you shoot a horse just because it has a broken leg? Okay, bad example there. Take it back, cross it out. Now, number two. If in the next five minutes a crisis happens, who do you want in the White House? Me? I'd want Harry Truman. But he's dead, so why not George Bush? And finally, experience. George Bush has thrown up on world leaders that the other two guys have only read about. Think about it. Thank you. Bush. He's thrown up on World League. And now, a message from the committee to elect Perot Stockdale. Hi, I'm Dean Sorrell, Washington State Chairman of the Ross Perot for President campaign. Okay, enough of the BS. Let's get to the point. The two others are stiffs. They're talkers, not doers. Ross is a doer, and when he can't do the job, he quits and runs away. Nothing wrong with that. Enough said. Now, a lot of you are saying, Dewey Sorrell, didn't Mr. Perot have you and your family investigated? Fair enough, sure he did. And if he hadn't, I might never found out that my wife had a lesbian lover. No <laughs> sick. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey, what is the deal with the Stockdale dude? Is he whacked out or what? <laughs> okay, let's be honest. On Mr. Stockdale, I'll just say, I have no friggin' idea what the hell that's all about. <laughs> I guess someone just lost a bet or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because Ross is healthy, see? And he's wiry, he's tough as a bulldog, so don't worry about Stockdale getting a chance at the plate. Now that's honesty, that's what Perot's all about. That and a couple billion dollars. Enough said. Perot. Enough said. 